So the title of the video gives this one away. It's all about the Windows 11 forced upgrade coming up this October. Now, some of us, especially me, I have a whole bunch of computers that are just old enough that they do not qualify for Windows 11. And there's a couple computers that do qualify for Windows 11, but I don't dare touch it because the software I am using works perfectly fine on Windows 10. And sometimes when you move software from one operating system to another, it quits working. And some of this is pretty expensive stuff. So on some of these systems, I'm not upgrading Windows at all. And on others, like this one, I'm going to upgrade to Windows 11. So it continues to get updates. Now, if you stay on Windows 10 past the October deadline, and you don't have the free upgrade for a year, because there are certain ways you can get a free upgrade from Microsoft that will last you one year of support. But no matter what, Windows 10 is doomed. Now I'm going to show you how to upgrade an old computer like this one. This computer is from 2015, so it's 10 years old. It does not qualify for the Windows 11 upgrade. So I'm going to show you that it doesn't qualify, and I'm going to show you three really quick, easy steps to take to get this computer, even though Microsoft says it can't be upgraded, to upgrade it. Okay. Windows says it will not upgrade to Windows 11, but I'm going to show you that any computer 2009 or newer, as long as it's an Intel processor 2009 or newer, or an AMD processor, I believe 2012 or newer, will actually install Windows 11 if you do this little trick. Now it's three easy steps. All you need is a computer with an internet connection, a USB thumb drive, and a little bit of your time. This is a free upgrade. There's no hacks, quacks, or piracy involved. This is all free and legit. So let's go through that process now. So I'm gonna show you here right off the bat. If I go into Windows Update, it's going to tell you that it doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. So if you get this message when you try to upgrade, that means the hardware in your computer is too old. Now, your computer can just be as old as 2018 and still get this message, and 2018 is only seven years old. So if you have a computer that's any older than that, it probably will not let you upgrade to Windows 11 unless you do this trick. There's two websites you need to go to. So the first one is Microsoft to actually download the Windows 11 ISO, which the ISO is basically the DVD or CD-ROM that would come with Windows 11. Now this is free. Doesn't cost you anything to download it. That's the official Microsoft website. Now I'm gonna put the links to all these websites in the description of the video. So click on the Microsoft Windows 11 download. Scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. And then make sure this is selected, which is the only thing in the list. Click on confirm. So after you click that, you need to choose the language, which in my case is English. Click on the 64-bit download. And then you'll see on your browser that it actually starts to download. Now, this is a 5.4 gig file, which is a DVD file. It's going to take quite a while to download on most systems. So once you have this file downloaded, you go to the second link on the list, which is a program called Rufus. Now, right now, Rufus 4.9 is the version that's out. It may be version 5 or later by the time you watch this video. But... What Rufus is, is it just takes the Windows 11 DVD that you downloaded and forces Windows to do certain things that ignores your hardware. It's really that simple because Windows does a hardware check on your computer before it installs. If it doesn't see something called TPM 2.0, it will not allow you to install. Intel processors from 2008 to 2018 have TPM 1, which is fine. It's still safe. But for some reason, Windows doesn't want you to install Windows 11 unless you have this newer security chip built into your computer. You go to the Rufus website link, which is on GitHub. I have that in the description of the video. You scroll down to where it says Rufus 4.9.exe, or in your case, it might be 5.0 or higher. I don't, depends on when you watch this video. Last update was June 15th, it says. Click on this. And it will download again, just like the Windows file, except this is going to be a lot quicker because it's a much smaller file. Now, once you have these two files, and I already have them downloaded on my desktop, you just put them on your desktop and then you need your USB stick. That's the next thing you need. In this case, I'm using an SD card and a USB adapter. So you do need to have a formatted 8 gig flash drive of some kind to do this. So at this time, go ahead and put it in. Make sure it is in a high-speed USB port. You don't want to make it in a slow-speed port. Once that's in a detected, which you can do by going to PC, you can see 
on my screen it says USB E, which it's empty. Now it's going to format this USB stick, so it's going to take everything off of it. So make sure there's nothing on that USB stick that's of importance to you. Next, you want to launch Rufus. So double click on the Rufus file, you'll see this drive properties. Now make sure your USB stick is selected in device where it says disk or ISO image. Click on select and then choose the ISO, which in this case is the Windows 11 build. And it's going to set everything else up for you. So volume label, we can change this to whatever we want, Windows 11. Everything else, just leave the same. Click Start. And it's going to give you this screen. Now, this screen here is the important one because what you need to do is at least check the first box. Remove requirement for 4 gig plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0. Now, that TPM 2.0 is what I told you. Windows 11 requires this to install normally. Now, the older processors from 2008 to 2018-ish, around there, don't quote me on that, use TPM 1.0. So they want you to have 2.0 to put Windows 11 in. So make sure you at least check this first box. Now, in my case, I'm going to check the second and third boxes because I do not want to use an online account. I don't use online cloud accounts for any, anything at all. I want to keep everything local to my PC. Now, you may have some Microsoft 365 or Word or Office that requires an account. I do not. I also want to create a local account using Hobotech as the login. I'm also going to skip the privacy questions and disable BitLocker because I, don't, I always skip the privacy questions anyway, and I don't use BitLocker. So I may as well just take that, make it one less step for Windows. So click OK. It says all data on your 64 gigs is going to be destroyed. Click OK. Now it formats the USB drive. It's copying the files from the Windows DVD ISO, and it's going to format this and make it so that when you plug it in, you can install Windows like it's a DVD. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's only going to take a few minutes. And like I said, this is all legit stuff. There's nothing you're doing here that's illegal or wrong. The Rufus program, all it does is it just takes the Windows disk, makes a few changes so that it doesn't see your hardware, and then allows you to install Windows. Because online update will not let you install Windows. You have to bypass this hardware requirement by installing it manually from a DVD, which in this case is the USB drive. So let's let this go ahead and create the ISO file and we'll go ahead and install Windows 11. Okay, now that you got the USB drive full with Windows 11 install, we just have to go into the PC and click on the setup. It's basically Windows setup. So you can do it from within Windows 10, that's fine. Or you can reboot your computer and have it run. It'll boot off of that as long as you're set up to do that and install Windows 11 that way. So this is actually the Windows 11 install. I'm going to tell it I don't want to get the updates right now because I'm trying to save some time here on this video. Let's click Next, let it do its thing. And beyond this, it's a regular Windows installation. So you just scroll down, read all their garbage, accept it if you feel like accepting it because you can't install Windows unless you accept their privacy agreement. It says my PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements, but I can hit accept and it will do it anyway, which is pretty funny because Windows still detected that it doesn't meet the requirements, but still let you put it in anyway. That was the whole point of doing this manual install. And in this, I'm deciding to go ahead and keep all my personal files and I'm putting Windows 11 Pro in. Click install. And at this point, it's going to go ahead and install Windows and... The rest of it's easy. It just reboots, does what it needs to do, and that's it. You're done. And now your old computer is running Windows 11. It's that simple. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box.